2009, I built this bicycle generator to show the kids at school how much energy it took to light these different kinds of light bulbs. I had LEDs, I had incandescent, and I had compact fluorescent bulbs. And then I also made a, uh, a blower that as the kids pedaled faster, the bowl, ball would go up and down the tube. generator at the different local schools, I gave it to the Hudson Valley Community College for their energy program. They've been using it for several years, but then it stopped working. So they called me up and asked me if I wanted it back. So I think I'm going to try to turn it into a Ryobi battery charger. So let's take a look at what we can do with it. It uses a Bell exercise bike stand where I've taken out the, the pulley weight and just attached it to a plywood board. It's kind of funny that Back in 2009, I painted it Ryobi green, and I didn't even have any Ryobi tools back then. For the generator, I used a Harbor Freight 12-volt DC motor. It was only 50 bucks at the time. I'm not sure if they still sell them or not. But then I used a flexible uh, belt here that goes to a bicycle rim. I got the bicycle from the side of the road. The problem with the old setup was that the inverter had a certain input voltage range and as the load increased, it was hard for the people pedaling to keep it correct. So my idea is to change this so that it uses a boost converter to convert the 12 volts from the generator up to the 42 volts required to charge a uh, 40 volt battery. And that way you can use an inverter and charge a battery at the same time. Here we have a DC to DC boost converter. It takes something from like 11 to 60 volts and can boost it from 20 to 90 volts. And there's a little pot here that you can adjust the voltage. So I've adjusted it to be 42 volts. Designed and 3D printed a battery holder that can be screwed down to a board. I've installed the T1 temperature clip and the power clip. I've installed a 1200 ohm resistor between the temperature sensor and the plus terminal on the battery. And I'll just solder these in. There's a blocking diode so that the batteries don't drive the motor. I 3D printed some Ryobi battery mounts for the 18 volt batteries and I've put in the charge resistors so that you can charge them too. The tire and the tube has been taken off this rim and I've put on an adjustable belt to make it nice and tight. I have disconnects on the wires so that you can take the bike off and move it to other places. The boost converter takes the random input voltages and converts them to 42 volts to charge the Ryobi batteries. I've got a Harbor Freight 12 volt motor that's acting as a generator and it can put out up to 28 amps. I've made an adapter for the 40 volt Ryobi 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. That way you can use other batteries with it. Right now I have a light board plugged in for demonstration purposes. We have an array of different size bulbs. We've got 15 watt, 40 watt, 60 watt, 75 watt, 100 watt, all incandescents. Then we have a 15 watt LED, a 15 watt compact fluorescent, and a, um, I think it's a 12 watt compact fluorescent. I have a digital display up by the handlebars so you can see the charge voltage and the wattage that's being pushed out.
This bike was originally set up for young kids, so the rim's a little bit smaller. For me, it might be better to have a larger 27 inch rim so I wouldn't have to pedal as fast and I could use the strength of my legs instead. Or I could just hook up a 100 watt solar panel and sit back and relax. Hope this has been helpful. Have a great day.